Hey everybody, what's going on? Let's talk about helmets today. So I recently decided to get a new racing helmet because the last time I bought a helmet was in 2011 and it's about due for a replacement. All of my previous racing helmets have been closed face helmets, but this time around, I thought about getting an open face helmet instead. Which one's better? We'll talk about that. First, a little bit of background. I'm talking about racing helmets for use in motorsport events, such as track days, autocross, time attack. For those who don't know that much about racing helmets, there are generally two kinds of helmet certifications from the Snell Foundation, and they're M and SA. M is for motorcycle, so that's the kind of helmet that you would typically want if you're riding motorcycles, whereas the SA certification is the one that you would want if you're going to be using your helmet for auto racing. And that's what we're going to talk about primarily here today. Let's start out by taking a look at my older helmet. It's an SA 2010 closed face helmet, and it's what I've been wearing for the last 11, 12 years. As you can see, the full face helmet covers your full face. And it also has a visor that could be useful for sunny days, basically like wearing a pair of sunglasses that will filter out a lot of bright light. Now this helmet features an iridescent blue face visor, which was an extra add-on, but you have to admit it looks pretty cool. So of course I had to get that. And I think the biggest advantage of having a full face helmet is that if you're in a crash and bits of glass or debris flies into your face, well, the helmet's going to protect you from that. And if an airbag goes off in your face, it'll protect you from that as well. Now let's talk about one of the disadvantages of a closed face helmet. And that's, for me, the fact that I wear glasses. As you can see, I have to take my glasses off before I put the helmet on. And then I have to spend a little bit of time trying to get those glasses on. And here you can see me kind of struggling to do that because it's such a tight fit around my head. It's going to take, you know, several seconds at least. And in this case, probably over 30 seconds to a minute before I can get those glasses properly on and comfortable. Now, those few seconds may not seem like a big deal, but... When I'm trying to get ready and get out on the grid for a racing event, it can be a huge distraction and a loss of focus if I'm struggling to get these glasses on and it's taking me a few moments to, to get that done. It can be really frustrating. And on a really hot day, having a full face mask is definitely going to make it a little bit more difficult to breathe and you know, it just traps the heat into your helmet. So wearing a closed face helmet usually gets me all sweaty by the time I'm done with the race session. Those are some of the reasons why I decided to consider an open face helmet for the next one. All right, let's take a look at the open face helmet now. I decided to go with a Pyrotech helmet again, since I had such a good experience with the closed face helmet and I knew that the fitment would be the same from the same manufacturer. So I have a double XL size head, so I ordered another double XL helmet. You can see here the difference between the open face and the closed face helmets. Obviously, bigger opening allows your face to breathe and be exposed, so that's good and bad. Some people would say that the aesthetics are not as good with the open face helmet. Some people would even say that you look kind of dorky wearing an open face helmet. But I suppose it's a matter of perspective and your own personal taste. Some people are big fans of rally racing, and I think your favorite rally drivers probably wear open face helmets. I think if you're going to be speaking while driving, maybe if you're filming for a YouTube channel, the open face helmet is going to let you be heard a little bit better. You'll get better voice audio. And of course, the big consideration for me is that 
you can wear glasses and I think it'll be a little bit easier to put on the helmet and keep the glasses on. All right, so let's put it to the test. I've got my glasses on and we'll try putting on the helmet. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like it pushed the glasses out a little bit. And so now I'm back to the original problem of trying to get these glasses back on. And it is still a very tight fit with the padding against my face, but I've got it back in there fairly quickly. Make a little adjustment and I'm good to go. Obviously with the open face helmet, my visibility is a little bit better. I don't have parts of the helmet in front of my face, so I can see out pretty clearly. And it's pretty easy to breathe. I've got most of my face exposed. Now let's try pulling off that helmet. And it did kind of pull on my glasses a little bit. Okay, let's try it again. And yeah, this time it worked a little bit better. Barely moved my glasses, so they're still in place and just needed a little adjustment. And I'm good to go. I am finding that it's easier to take my glasses off and then pull the helmet off. That I think is less of a big deal when I'm coming back off track. Let's try it one more time. And yep, this time it moved the glasses a little bit, but no big deal. I was able to adjust pretty quickly. Let's get that next strap on. And boom, we're ready to go. I don't know. I don't think I look too dorky with this helmet. What do you guys think? Do I look like a pro rally driver or do I look like a dork? Leave me a comment below. And now for the dismount. Boom. 100%. Not bad. The helmet fits pretty well, very comfortable. It's exactly the same size as the previous helmet that I had bought from Pyrotech, so that was kind of a no-brainer. And putting on this helmet while wearing my glasses is much, much easier than the closed-faced helmet. So that's a huge improvement for me in terms of convenience and comfort. Well, I was going to try wearing this uh, balaclava that I got from K1 Speed. I thought it would maybe help with keeping uh, the sweat that I usually generate during these uh, track sessions. I would be able to keep my helmet a little bit cleaner after each uh, track day by wearing this as an additional layer to absorb some of that sweat and not have it seep into the helmet as much as in my old helmets. Uh, however, I have noticed that this balaclava seems to cause my breath to come up and cause condensation on my glasses. So I don't know if you can actually see that uh, in the video, but uh, yeah, my glasses are getting a little fogged up because of how this, uh, this mask kind of pushes my breath back up towards my glasses. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to end up running like this uh, on the track. Uh, I may just take off the balaclava and run without it. Yeah, it might be more trouble than it's worth. Some of you may be asking, why do you have to replace the helmet? It still looks like it's in great shape. And it is. I think I've taken very good care of it over the years. But unfortunately, the Snell SA2010 certification is way out of date at this point. And a lot of track organizations like Speed SF or Turn 8 Racing, NCRC, they're all going to require that you have a fairly recent helmet certification. The Snell Foundation usually comes out with a new SA standard every five years. So there's been one in 2015 and another in 2020. SA 2020 was the latest standard that came out. So a lot of track organizations only go back two certification periods, which means that my SA 2010 certification, unfortunately, is no longer valid at most of these track organizations. 
And that's why I had to pick up a new SA2020 standard helmet. And so that's why I have to say goodbye to my old friend here, the SA2010 helmet. Thank you for protecting me all these years. You get to retire and sit on my shelf. All right, well, hopefully that gives you a better understanding of the differences between an open face helmet and a closed face helmet. And the reasons why I decided to go with an open face helmet this time around. Let me know in the comments below which helmet you prefer or which helmet you use at the moment. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. All right, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and take care. I'll see you next time.